Hi Scorpio, welcome to your mid-May love and relationships update. My name is Michelle, thanks for joining me and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Scorpio, I've been meditating on the person of interest here, the person that uh, you are uh, focused on or will be focusing on mid to late May 2021. Scorpio, finishing up your shuffle and we'll start with the past energy just to let you know this is the vice versa tarot it's double sided so the reversals will come up as a matter of course so let's take a look here past energy the present energy the feminine energy the masculine energy take a look at the positives of the situation the negatives hopes fears what are the aims what's trying to be avoided take a look at what's happening in the environment any other people that might be involved we'll see what it is an action to be taken what's hidden or unexpected and the potential outcome okay Scorpio let's take a look we'll start with a couple of oracles so we'll start with the uh, the feminine energy as you guys know it's not about um, sex or gender it is about the energies so either feminine or masculine could resonate as yourself but just to differentiate let's talk about the the feminine energy scorpio we have she who dreams isra escape dreams fantasy that one's been coming up uh, a fair bit i've had it three or four times uh, during these readings for the feminine energy let's take a look at the masculine energy scorpio mid to late may the masculine energy please spirit guide scorpio the masculine energy scorpio for mid to late may masculine energy please spirit guides the masculine energy scorpio the masculine energy scorpio masculine energy scorpio please. okay we have the ten of sacred circles the ten of pentacles family okay let's get the uh, connecting energy between the masculine and the feminine for this reading please show me the connecting energy ascended masters okay so we do have a, a spiritual connection here guys so uh, let's talk about it diving right in we have the page of pentacles past energy which is particularly interesting because we have the uh, the two of pentacles as the current energy i get this as working together trying to make it work it seems like this is a new beginning of some kind scorpio a fresh start i do feel that this is about yeah trying it trying to see if it works but trying it a different way is what i'm getting from spirit let's see where this one goes and scorpio of course as you know this could resonate as you could resonate as flipped reversed or if you're cross watching this could be a scorpio that you're dealing with now the feminine energy is temperance uh, could be sagittarius of course since we have the queen of wands right in the center of this reading but not necessarily there's an energy of peace around this feminine energy finding peace which is beautiful it feels very much like living a peaceful existence what do i mean by that oftentimes conflict in our lives is brought about because what we feel on the inside doesn't match our external circumstances or vice versa this feels like it matches this feels like living authentically okay now the masculine energy is the fool in the upright with this page energy and and this very childlike energy of the the two of pentacles it does feel very much like a, a a very it does feel a bit immature i have to say 
but not necessarily bad it just feels very youthful that's all I'm getting at the moment about that uh, that fool card it's uh, it's it goes fool energy is difficult because I'm getting this as both good and bad and it's a, the card of zero so it, it makes sense that it is that kind of energy fool like energy is someone who is uh, who can start fresh start over with that clean slate but should they that that's also the opposite side of that hmm. okay well let's let's continue here the positives of this situation is the seven of pentacles in the reverse okay this is a very frustrating kind of energy it does feel like something that was put in a lot of time and effort on it hasn't really panned out mm. okay yeah it hasn't panned out it hasn't really worked uh, there's a strong energy of becoming somewhat tired I get a, you know, some exhaustion around this exhausting work and kind of it, it feels like you know what oh, I'm not gonna do this anymore I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try uh, this is pointless okay we'll see where that goes the negative here is the uh, three of cups in the reverse okay and this is where the, the fool energy gets a bit tricky because uh, it, I, I do feel that there has been I get that there's more people here there's more people involved than just these two it feels like um, uh, well you know I, I'm really getting a strong essence of perhaps both of you are already partnered or you have other interests Mm, okay well, let's let's continue and we go again another progression we go from the three of cups to the four of cups here as the hopes okay so it's interesting because I, I feel I feel that there's some resistance here to letting go of a certain lifestyle but someone's become bored with that lifestyle someone's become bored with this fool energy interesting I get this sense here of mm, you know something that was fun becoming boring mm. okay so I feel like it's a uh, you know I'm not sure which one is which here to be honest with you but it, it feels like perhaps both of you are bored with a certain lifestyle uh, bored of being single perhaps bored of being uh, in a multiple dating situation bored of of dating let's see the fears here is the tower the fear is this realization of boredom I feel that we're talking about a thrill seeker I feel it's this masculine energy that is a thrill seeker uh, is seeking that kind of adrenaline rush now Scorpio that could be you it could be the other person but I do get that kind of energy of an adrenaline seeking that adrenaline rush it's excitement it's the thrill all of that but at the end of the day how many planes do you need to jump out of to get that to get that rushed you know it kind of feels like that it feels like someone who has had their fill of that uh, that, that adrenaline seeking feels a little bit like an adrenaline junkie you know someone who will uh, who do very risky things with this fool energy like jumping out of planes like uh, 
uh, not necessarily that, but you know what I mean. It, it, whatever they're doing, it involves risk. Uh, personally, uh, professionally, perhaps even risky to other people as well. And it's because I feel this person becomes quite bored easily, but then they also get bored with the adrenaline seeking. Okay, let's see where, where this is going, Scorpio. Now, the aim here is the Five of Cups in the reverse. Okay, I feel like this is recovery of some kind. It feels like recovery of what was lost. There's still two cups standing here. So there's still love. I feel like this adrenaline junkie person here has left behind love in search of something else. They've gone in search of something else, but I don't feel that they found it ultimately a fulfilling kind of journey. Mm. Okay. Now, what's to be avoided? We've got the Ace of Swords in reverse. This feels like a snatching defeat from the uh, jaws of victory. <laughs> it, it kind of feels like that. It feels like knowing, gaining the clarity, understanding of, okay, what have I been seeking? Uh, what is ultimately not fulfilling me anymore and not doing anything about it. You know, having the knowledge, having the truth, having that epiphany and then not doing anything about it. Continuing to, to do uh, what they've done before. Now in the environment where you've got the page of cups in the reverse Scorpio this is a this is this yeah I feel like we're talking about someone here who uh, um, enjoys the thrill of the chase you know the seduction the excitement of uh, chasing new people having new people chase them it's it is very immature kind of energy with the fool and the page yeah I, f I just feel like this this it's a very playful kind of um, very youthful uh, Peter Pan kind of uh, energy. I think we're talking about Peter Pan and Wendy. I might even call it call this reading that Peter Pan and Wendy. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Continuing on. That's the, that's the image I had in my mind there from Spirit. Now, uh, what is another person here? We've got the Three of Pentacles. So yes, there there is more than one other person in this mix. There's more. There's multiples. I feel like there's a gosh, somebody here has decided to uh, take on this more of like this adrenaline rush kind of life of. It's not even seeking adventure. I feel it's just being adventurous uh, with sex, adventurous with uh, with finding um, uh, people that are they're attracted to, who uh, are attracted to them. You know, I, I feel like it's 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 something here where the, I feel it's the masculine has lived or was trying to live the life of uh, someone much younger. You know, uh, sowing wild oats, all that kind of energy. Yeah. But ultimately, I feel, it's not with any kind of end game in sight. It's, it's not with a, a goal of, say, settling down with anyone or anything like that. It just feels playful, playing around, that kind of energy. Now, an action to be taken. We do have the Knight of Swords here. Riders of the, on the Storm. And he's carrying this Ace of Swords. So doing something with this truth, doing something with this clarity, this understanding around what is no longer emotionally fulfilling. You know, there comes a, a time when we have to face the truth and act upon that truth. 
and I feel that uh, the time is is here uh, for this particular person now that could be you Scorpio it could be the other now I feel it's the masculine energy that needs to take action now what's hidden is the chariot there's movement here and an ability to overcome obstacles okay and right in the center the outcome which we'll talk about more in the extended is the queen of wands so it seems like the outcome here is a fire sign I have a Sagittarius I also have Aries or Leo though I feel it's more Sagittarian energy with that uh, temperance card so Scorpio there's there's victory here there there is a chance for success to overcome obstacles and challenges and and come out the winner but there needs to be action taken with this this clarity of understanding this truth that has been revealed with this tower the tower once there is that illumination once there's been that aha moment that understanding then there needs to be action taken absolutely yeah the ten of sacred circles of course is all about family it is about connection soul tribe if it's not uh, blood relations who, where our family is who our family is what our connection is with uh, our ancestors it, it feels very ancestral it feels very much like uh, building a legacy a found a foundation that is lasting long lasting it feels like home and with the feminine energy with this escape dreams and fantasy there is I'm not really picking up much of the feminine energy here I have to say I feel more so it is the masculine who okay ha okay I'm getting like escape escape but not in the traditional sense I feel like the masculine has escaped okay escaping commitment yeah escaping commitment is what I'm getting there hmm well look at this further in the extended guys so before we uh, get to the extended though I'll pull a card from the dark mirror just to see what else uh, you need to uh, to look at here uh, Scorpio now of course if you'd like a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com or you can go to my Etsy shop and purchase directly there the link is down below please like share me on your social media subscribe if you're a newcomer I'd love to have you and if you're a regular thanks so much for watching guys please be sure to uh, check out uh, ways to support my channel if that's something you are interested in doing by clicking on the join button below or looking in the box you can get early access to the readings if that's something that you would uh, like to have so Scorpio let's take a look here the extended reading I'll be clarifying going much deeper and uh, I'll be looking at some oracles as well for guidance but let's have a look here Scorpio what is the message for Scorpio what does Scorpio need to hear what does Scorpio need to hear parasite parasite it's not a great energy is it okay well let's uh, let's have a look at that feels a bit like codependence is what I'm getting here now a lack of self-efficiency okay a lack of self-efficiency all right somebody here has a lack of self-efficiency now it, it could be either one but I'm picking it up as uh, well possibly both I mean you know uh, it, uh, it could be both a lack of self-efficiency fear of being alone that's that kind of energy here and someone being depressed 
So someone's depressed uh, because they're alone, even though I feel like they do have people around them, but they're, it's more of a superficial kind of energy, like it, it, it's no one really important, it's not, it's not family. I feel this is someone without family, guys, or someone without family close by. That could be you, it could be the other way around, could be you both. But we'll talk about this further in the extended Scorpio. If this is your reading, please do join me there. The link is down below in the descriptions box. Thanks again for watching. Please do take care. Leave me a comment down below as well. And I will speak to you again very soon. Bye for now, Scorpio.